Vote 2024, a defiant President Biden telling Democrats that he's staying in the race for the White House. Despite questions about his mental fitness, the president issued a letter this morning. It emphasizes that he is committed to the race and to beating Donald Trump. News for Jack supporter Scott Johnson takes a look at the coordinated response from the Biden campaign. Monday morning started with a letter that President Biden sent to congressional Democrats telling them he will not drop out of the race. Then later in the morning, he went on MSNBC where he continued that message. And all the data, all the data shows that the, the average Democrat out there who voted, 14 million of them that voted for me, still want me to be the nominee. And hours after that, News for Jacks received this email from the Biden campaign in the title, I am not going anywhere. What's clear is that the president is defiant. And in his letter to Congress, he was clearly defiant, stating unequivocally he is not dropping out and making the case for himself. He points out rightfully that he was elected in the primary, that he holds the delegates. He News has, for Jack's political analyst Rick Mullaney out. says this is a big week for the president anywhere. as the White House hosts a NATO summit. And there's a big news conference planned for Thursday. Keep an eye on the press conference on Thursday. That should be very, very important. That will be unscripted. Those will be difficult questions. We'll see how the president handles that. The other thing happening this week is Congress is back in Washington. And time will tell if the Democrats continue to voice calls for Biden to withdraw or he weathers this and continues as the nominee. In today's White House press briefing, there was also intense questioning about reports of a Parkinson specialist who has shown up on White House visitor logs several times. The press secretary says she could not comment on why a specific person is at the White House and add several military people do sometimes get care at the White House. She only confirmed that President Biden has received three neurological exams while he's been in office. And Scott, I'm talking to Rick Mullaney and others, it really comes down to President Biden would have to step aside. But who are the, the key party uh, components here and among Democrats who had the most sway on what happens with the president and the nomination? Two groups we want to be watching, Kent. First, that's financial donors. If they stop donating money to a Biden ticket, that could make a huge impact. The other group is down-ballot Democrats. Any Democrat who's running for House or Senate, if they feel Biden is dragging them down to get elected, that could also impact things. Those are two groups to watch. Yeah. Thank you, Scott.